Hello all, in this video we will talk about adaptive radio biasing which is used in um, RF uh, section of the wireless chips. So what is adaptive radio biasing and why is it needed? Basically for any RF chips if you see or uh, um, any RF related activities, power amplifier is very very important, right? That is the major consumer of current in those particular chips. Now, power amplifier has to be biased, right? Biased means we have to give sufficient current for the power amplifier to perform its operation. So, when uh, we are operating such power amplifier um, and uh, we are using the RF chips, RF chips have different output power uh, um, ranges, right? Sometimes we use the RF uh, output at maximum sometimes we use to half of it sometimes we use for low low power right now in all those scenarios if you are using the rf power amplifier here whatever is present um, with the same um, biasing condition then there will be lot of power wastage and also uh, there will be certification related issues that will be seen um, because unnecessarily uh, the power amplifier would be uh, biased to a very high extent uh, and it might saturate as well and in such scenarios it might provide it might uh, mm, produce uh, unnecessary <coughs> output which could uh, create um, certification issues so now that's the second point uh, we we actually will focus on radio biasing so now this biasing as we said, must be adaptive, means uh, it must adjust to uh, the corresponding situations such that power amplifier can be used optimally and we have a low power consuming uh, uh, chip that is being used. That's the major criteria here of adaptive radio biasing. But how can we do that? So for that, um, to adjust the bias settings as per the um, power requirements the first thing that we need to know is what is the input power that is being provided to the power amplifier that means we need to know the input signal requirement right so um, that sh that should be fed to this uh, bias circuit and correspondingly this biasing uh, will set the power amplifier and second thing um, the bandwidth of the input signal okay so the input signal the higher the bandwidth we need more power Okay, so based on the bandwidth requirements, we have to adjust the um, power amplifier bias. Uh, so this biasing, uh, the uh, radio biasing, basically adaptive radio biasing, adjusts to the bandwidth. Okay, and then third thing, um, you might <coughs> use this uh, as we said over a wide power ranges, expected power ranges. So. Uh, you know what output power need to be provided, right? So based on the output power requirement, we can adjust the uh, biasing as well. So all these scenarios uh, um, helps us uh, come up with a low power operation for the chipset. So that is where adaptive radio biasing helps mainly for the uh, low power operation. A very, very important feature um, that is being implemented in the modern day RF chips, especially in the um, power amplifier biasing section.